Residents in some East Boca Raton neighborhoods say the police department needs to do more to stop car thefts and car break-ins. But they're also worried about their safety. Our Steve King joining us live from the Boca Raton Police Department with what's happening in those neighborhoods and what police say they're doing about it. Steve? Felicia, the Boca Raton police chief says that officers with the department do not chase in their vehicles any suspects of nonviolent crimes who flee from patrol cars per the station policy. But residents in the Golden Triangle area and the Golden Harbor neighborhood say that if the department doesn't do more to stop car break-ins and car thefts, that lives could be in danger. These are surveillance videos showing car break-ins in the Golden Triangle area and Golden Harbor neighborhood in East Boca Raton dating back to September. The Boca Raton Police Department confirms there have been 23 vehicle thefts and 33 vehicle burglaries in the Golden Triangle area over the last two years, resulting in five arrests. In the Golden Harbor neighborhood during that time frame, the department reports 10 vehicle thefts and 10 vehicle burglaries, resulting in no arrests. Phil Canella lives in Golden Harbor. He says earlier this month, two of his cars were stolen from his garage in the middle of the afternoon while he and his wife were home. People's lives are going to be at stake here. For these people to come in the homes, in the garages, and thank God my wife, when she came home with the groceries, it wasn't happening at that point. They're getting brazen and more brazen. At public meetings in Boca Raton this week, neighbors speaking out. They broke into my garage and took both my cars. The police chief on Monday explained the Boca Police Department pursuit policy, which states an officer can only pursue a fleeing vehicle if the suspect commits a violent crime. When they flee from the officers, they are getting into crashes, they are causing more damage, and they are killing other people. Soft on crime, um, no. Our, our policy, our pursuit policy, has been in place for several years. We're governed by state statute. But the deputy city manager confirmed Boca Raton's pursuit policy is a city decision and not state mandated. As for what the department is doing, city leaders say police have increased patrols in Golden Triangle and Golden Harbor, and the police chief shared this on Monday. We do have some evidence that we're following up on. But for the residents, they say more needs to be done, and the department's current strategy is unacceptable. It ultimately falls upon the police department to do something to keep us safe and to protect us, and we feel vulnerable as citizens, and we need those policies to change. What does it have to come to?